Hi everyone, it's Krista Q. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I have, first of all, a different filming location tonight. Um, I'm actually filming at my desk. This is the first time I've ever filmed here and the lighting is weird, but the lighting is weird everywhere in my house. So we're just gonna go with it. Um, first of all, I want to apologize for not being here much lately. I've been really, really busy, but I do have some good news. Um, I am actually working on creating, well, you guys know I have a blog. Um, I'm actually kind of trying to work on like a whole, it sounds so pretentious when I say it, but like a whole brand, I guess. Like, um, I'm going to be creating content and one of the things I want to do along with my uh, content creation on my blog is I want to do more YouTube videos. So starting probably next month when my kids go back to school, I am going to be doing videos that feature my face because as you guys know, if you've been with me a while, I did not want to show my face on camera when I started this channel because A, it was just, it was easier to do these videos like this, but B, um, <clears throat> excuse me, last year in April of 2020, um, I had brain surgery and they had to shave like half my head. And so my hair is still growing out from that. It's still very uneven. But by probably next month, it'll be to where I can just kind of like cut it all off to shoulder length, maybe a little shorter, and it should all be about the same length. So either way, um, I can probably like toss all my hair over to one side because I wear it like that a lot anyway, and it should be fine. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should be, um, you've seen pictures of what I look like right now. and. I think it's fine. Like, it's gonna have to be fine. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up. I will do so in the next couple videos that I film, just so that when it happens, it's not like a complete shock. But um, I'm sure you guys are getting kind of sick of like looking at my chubby little hands all the time and not seeing a person, or I don't know, maybe you guys like these videos more, but either way, um, I'm going to have a lot of home fragrance content. I'm going to have a lot of, uh, like basically every major blog post I make, I'm going to also turn it into a YouTube video. So if you're interested in the kind of content that I'm posting at the time, make sure that you not only subscribe, but hit the little notification bell so that you'll see all of those. Um, if, if you're not into all of the kind of content that I post and you just want to see like the wax and candle stuff, that's okay too. I mean, it's free to subscribe and you're welcome to unsubscribe at any point. But I am so super glad that almost 200 of you guys have been with me for this like first kind of rough chapter of my channel and I cannot wait to see where we go from here. Once my kids are back in school, I will be able to film during the day. I will be able to film without so much going on. I will have like real lighting and quiet in the house. It'll be crazy. I won't even know what to do with myself. So anyway, all of that rambling, we are four minutes in and I haven't even begun what I'm here for. Um, I have two videos that I'm filming for you guys tonight. One is like a massive random wax empties video kind of just from the last like six months and then the other is my melting basket for the rest of this month and all of august if you know me at all you know that in august i usually like to start fall like i like to start decorating for fall and i like to start melting fall wax but I just, I just don't think I'm going to be able to this year. And it's not because I'm not excited for fall. I literally cannot wait for fall. But it's just like, it's so insanely hot. And it's always hot in summer, obviously. But, you know, I, 
I obviously believe in global warming and realize that things are getting hotter like every single year, at least where I live. And um, I just think that melting fall scents during the day in August is just not going to work for me anymore. Unless I'm like blasting my air conditioning. So uh, we are going to continue summer melting. So again, here we are five and a half minutes in. And now, now I'm finally going to get started. Um, this melting basket... I, I was late in pulling because of the fact that like the 4th of July happened and I've had a lot of family stuff going on, but this is more like a six to eight week basket. So you guys will see, I have some leftovers from my June basket, but there's also some new stuff in here. We're going to start with one of the leftovers and this is, let me make sure you guys can see that, um, pistachio dream cake from Handworks. Oh, that's loud. Oh, cherry cookie, also from Handworks. Obviously, these are all great scents. I just didn't get to them because I run out of time because I, I pull more than I'm going to melt each month, so I have a lot of options. This is Yankee Candle, the kind you get from like Walmart that have these like round little guys. It's Tropical Starfruit. Oh, another thing, another like life update. I don't know if this had happened when I talked to you guys last, but my husband got a new job and he is out of the home for a decent part of the day. So um, I'm able to melt scents now that he's not a big fan of without like offending his nose. So that's been great. This is cream soda from Candles from the Keeping Room. Strawberry jam from that Smell Good shop. I don't know if I'm holding these where you guys can see them. This is like, I broke it into pieces to make it easier to melt, but this is Dreamsicle Cuppy Cake from Waxidents. I've got, I think two of these in here, um, but this is Ginger Ale from K Scented Melts. Yeah, I've got two. Um, she is actually going away from these little cups. I'm sure you guys have already seen that weeks ago now on her group. But yeah, she's going away from the little cups because I think that they're... She's having a really hard time sourcing them because of everything that's going on and has been going on in the world. So that's fine with me. I like clamshells. And honestly, her wax is, is really good, especially her like single scent notes. This is a mystery tart from Sugar and Spice. It's a leftover from last month. I have no idea what's in it, obviously, but I like it. It's kind of fruity and sweet. This is Serendipity Coconut Cream Pie. This is a really good one. That was also from Sugar and Spice. I've got one here from Rose Girls in kind of a beat up looking bag that's orange sherbet. Got several in here from Scentsy. Thank you to Ramona Tolk here on YouTube. She is my Scentsy lady. This is Pineapple Pucker. Coconut Daiquiri. And Havana Cabana. And I have melted a little bit out of each of those, but... Since he throws really strong, but doesn't last an incredibly long time in my warmers because I, I warm really hot. But honestly, that's fine because I change my wax like twice a day at least anyway. From the bathing garden, I have Big Top Lemonade. I cannot wait to melt this one. Mm, sorry, I had to stop and sniff it. <laughs> Occasionally, I have to do that. From L3 Waxy Wonders, we have Yellow Ranger, and that is, let's see, it says right here, Lemonade, Cherry Limeade, and Fizzy Soda. As we get down in here, and you guys see the newer stuff that I pulled, you'll see there's a lot, a lot of like fizzy, cherry, bomb pop type scents, because that's what I like in July. That's what I melted on the 4th of July, actually. I still have plenty of Juliet is the Sun, Backwoods Barbie, and Princess of Monaco blended up together in this, uh, what are they called? 
deluxe bombshell blossom bags or something like that. Yeah, it's like three of her uh, vintage chic scents, obviously. It says on the label, but she takes like three of her house blends and blends them together. Um, what else is in here? From Rainbow Melts, we have Boom Boom Clouds. From VCS, we have Bomb Pop Martini. This was the Bomb Pop scent that kind of started it all for me. It's still probably my favorite just because of that nostalgia. And it is the one that I melt every year on the 4th of July. From Dessa's, we have Pineapple Frozen Whip. I cannot wait to melt this one. That's one I will have to melt when T is at work because he does not really care for pineapple. Oof. Try to reach these in here. Also from Dessa's, I have two. I have Fairy Godmother, and that is sugar spun cotton candy, sweet and tart rainbow sherbet, and fluffy sugar cookies. Honestly, it's just like really sweet, tart, fruity to me. I don't smell the sugar cookie, but that's fine. And Rainbow Crush Spritzer which is strawberry, cotton candy, lime juice, orange crush, and fizzy effervescence. Again, that's just really sweet and tart and fruity and fantastic. These beautiful shapes are from Laxidents, and it is a custom I did in blue raspberry slushy, cherry slushy, and fizzy pop. This makes a beautiful bomb pop scent. If you ever do customs with her, I highly recommend that. See another one from Rose Girls. We have Cake by the Ocean. I think it's like strawberry shortcake, key lime pie, and cup of cake or something. It's it's honestly kind of a weird scent on cold, but melted, it's fantastic. I've melted like one little piece so far. From my local wax vendor, I have sparkling cherry vanilla. I wish that she shipped so you guys could get her wax because it's nothing fancy, but it's really, really good performance-wise and cost-wise, it's amazing. Also from Dessa's, we have ice cream parlor. And that's just waffle cone and sweet ice cream. It's like a vanilla ice cream. From that Smell Good shop, I have one from my customs and I called it The Bomb. And it is Cherry Slush, Blue Raspberry, and Fizzy Pop. See the trend here with all the <laughs> cherry, blue, raspberry, like bomb pop type scents. From Super Tarts, I have a band bag in Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday is birthday cake and sweet strawberry filling. And it is so, so good. It's like strawberry white cake, but better. It's fantastic. From Glitterati, we have Cherry Lemonade. Also from Glitterati, we have Blue Raspberry Cherry Jolly Rancher Fizz. Again, bomb pop type scent. Also from Glitterati, we have just straight up watermelon. And my last one in here is also from Glitterati. And this one is called Red, White, and Lou. And Lou refers to Lou's Bakery, which is like a house bakery blend that she has. So that is it, guys. That is my uh, melting basket for the second half of July, or the rest of July, I guess, and August. So I will not actually be back with a melting basket until the end of August or the beginning of September. And that will be my first fall melting basket. And I'm super excited about that. Um, but until then, um, I hope you guys will stick around. Like I hope you will be here for, I have probably not a lot of hauls, but I have some empties videos. I have a couple other things wax related. I'm going to do like a bedtime melts kind of video for you guys. 
and once the kids go back to school and I start everything up with like doing more videos and showing up like as far as my face and everything um I think I'm gonna do a wax collection video for you guys because I just really kind of want to and um I think that my wax collection is organized really cute so <laughs> Anyway, that is it for this video, and I'm going to film one more for you guys and try to get those up this weekend. And after that, you guys should just kind of let me know what you want to see because I'm always looking to give you guys the kind of content you're after. So thank you guys for being here, and thank you guys for being patient with me when I wasn't here. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of stuff you're melting. When do you guys start your fall melting? Is it August? Is it September? Or are you like, wait till like October and like really when it's fall, fall outside? I'd love to know. That's it for this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, thanks for stopping by.